Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the NCAA 11 Road to Glory quarterback series uh, here on my channel. Um, just real quick, as we as we get into this week three matchup against the Rice at Rice University Owls, I have a few points to put onto our put on our quarterback here, um, and I think I'm gonna go with carrying with both of them um, because as we get closer into some conference play, we're gonna end up needing it because uh, as we start to play some better teams they're going to get to the backfield a lot easier than some of the teams we've played so far with Vanderbilt and uh, Illinois State um, yeah so we're just going to jump right into this game against Rice and we'll uh, we'll see if we can we can put out a get out another win like we did the previous game against Illinois State all right here we go first play of the game uh, now I apologize for the uh the extended time between episodes. I have uh, been going, had a lot going on. Um, I had, so I had finals coming up, so I had lots of projects and papers to finish up. And then I was sick for you know, a few days, pretty, like, really sick. Not like, you know, just regular cold sick, but fever and chills and all that. Lovely stuff that we all we all love to have to deal with. And then my family was here visiting me and my brother here in Texas. So it was that too. So there's just a lot happening all at once. Didn't get a chance to play this. I haven't had a chance to do much of anything in the realm of video games over the last two weeks or so. So I'm good to, glad to be back. It's going to be fun. Get back into making some of these videos. Getting these out for you guys. And then, uh, you know, just keep pushing through the career we got going on here. See if I can hit maybe Jennings. Oh, nope. Uh, he was open. I would have got him on that out on that cor both corner, but wasn't so lucky. Yeah, here we go. We got Robinson with a little tannin in and Jennings on the street across the middle of the field and Jimmy on the deep post. Might have to take our check down here if it if it opens up. We got Robinson in the middle of the field. Easy first down. Easy first down. Those pretty good stats there for Robinson on the season. Averaging one and a half touchdowns a game. Now obviously that makes no sense, but we all understand how that works. Um, all right, so we got some, some comeback routes here. We're gonna hit our flat though here with our running back, and then we're gonna push it upfield. Good little move there. Let's take and bake there by by Wesley, getting the good ball upfield. But yeah, we're gonna hope that we're gonna get through some of this, some of these games, the next couple of days. Because now I've, as I've ended my my semester, I've got not a whole lot going on. So we're going to spend quite a bit of time here playing this career. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to start a series uh, soon on some on a dynasty. I actually can take this with my legs. If you'll get out of bounds, start a dynasty here in the next uh, few days. Um, but that's going to be some fun. Right, so now we got QB choice. Which, if I remember right, it's been a minute. Um, I can either hand it off here, or I can take it myself and then open up the pass. So we'll see what. So we'll take it and then impill across the middle of the field. That's a great little throw and catch. First and goal. Oh, not quite. First, first and ten on the twelve. This is a good, nice little sustained drive we have for our first drive of the game. Wasting a lot of clock. Yep, wasting a lot of clock. We're gonna actually gonna flip this and we're gonna go to a just go to a regular halfback zone here. Open up, see if we can get get the get Wesley going on the ground a little bit. Go upfield. We gain about one or two there. But you know, we're gonna, we're gonna keep trying to get him involved. Much easier for the rest of the offense if we can get Wesley going on the ground. Let's see here. Coleman, Coleman's open. Get in the end zone. 
you gotta love these these old games. They got they got no no idea where they are in the field. Everything's the same. Actually, I did notice um, Madden last year's Madden 23 had the all the fancy um, like reaching the ball out, fighting for extra yards, and then all of a sudden in 24 they're just like, no, we're gonna take that out of the game. We don't we don't care about making our game. Dropped it. Wow. That that was a that was a touchdown. It's all right. It's a good drive down the field. I would go for it. Oh, we are going for it. Got a coach. Good stuff. Gotta love that. You love it when your coach trusts trusts your offense here. Let me draw him off sides. We're just gonna snap it here. We're gonna hit Sherman. Coleman. Not Sherman. Look at Sherman on the. I don't know. I said that in the first episode too. Our fight song going. Smoke goes down. All right, here we go. Right back on the field. Amazing defense. Got him on a first. Put the ball back here early in the first quarter. Coach is calling comeback routes immediately. We're gonna hit Robinson here. Try to turn it up field. Now this really should be a pretty pretty easy game for us. Uh, we're ranked, I think, 69th in the nation, and Rice was in the hundreds. So really, like realistically, we should win this game pretty pretty handily, as long as we don't make any mistakes. Which in that first week, that Vanderbilt game, that was the the big port part of why we lost that game. I mean, I I know that we got hurt and um, we spent. Quarters on the sideline, but um, that was a nice little pass there. Got over the field. Time to get start to the year or to start to the game, not to start to the year. We've had a little bit of a rough start to the year actually. The first week against Vanderbilt, really we should have won that game. We ended up taking a loss, which is always rough, but. We're just we're just here now, just trying to get ourselves through the season. Um, the Vanderbilt game was not my best showing, but as we've continued, there it is touchdown to Wesley. As we continue through the series, things will get easier. We'll get better. Team will get better, and it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna keep working through things here. With Western Wildcats, gotta go up 14-0 here, week three. Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stop by our defense. Another three and out. Giving us the ball back here. First quarter still. A chance here to get more points on the board. And I pressed the wrong button and pitched the ball right to Rice. Yeah, we're gonna um we're just gonna move on from that. We're gonna pretend that that, that did not happen. Um, because that was a great throw or a great great play call there by our coach that I just completely just I just completely jacked that up. So I apologize if you hear my dog making a bunch of racket behind me on my bed. He decides most of the time to do this right when I sit down to record, so. Take off. Didn't get anywhere with that, but right back to the line of scrimmage. That's not even. Short of the line to get short of the line of scrimmage. So now we're stuck in heaven. I'd be a little bit smarter with the ball. I made a bad decision there when I made when I tried to pitch it and fumbled the Robinson out on the out route. That was awkward spin, but we got the first down. We're gonna keep on keeping on here. Jet sweep to the right. You got it, Jennings running the jet sweep. Let's see if we can get this to work. I've I've had some I've had some luck um, off camera with the jet sweeps. Just playing the game. In this series, though, every time we ran it, it seems to stop pretty quickly. Yeah. 
we're gonna our first look we're gonna take here at Robinson on this quick slant and then we're gonna see what the safety decides to do. If he follows Jennings, we might take a shot over the top to Coleman. We go oh, okay. Yeah, well we had Jennings on the out the post out. Um tried to get it to him. I was getting hit too soon. Here we are again. Third and seven. As long as we don't make any boneheaded mistakes with the football. Hit Coleman in the middle of the field. Slow catch there. Good game. Yeah, our defense this game really has been carrying. The ten first downs to zero. We haven't let them get a first down yet. And the and we already have ten through the first quarter is is impressive. Our offense has been a little bit stagnant uh, against legitimate D1 schools, so it's kind of nice to see that we're we're opening up a little bit. I'm actually gonna take a shot here to the end zone, Jennings. It was good. What a diving catch into the end zone. That was amazing. Let's take another look at that one. That was such a beautiful play here by Jennings. Dive and catch. Two defensive backs on either side of him. And our guys who's who came away with it. That was awesome. Defense did its job again. Coming back out now. Three and a half. Three, not three and a half. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. Coming out with a direct snap to our running back. There he goes. He's off to the races. He's down the sideline. He beat everyone. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. When we can open up the pass offense and then open up the running lanes for Wesley, or vice versa, even getting Wesley involved early, open up some of the throwing lanes for us and our wideouts to get uh, deep plays. It just makes everybody better. Well, now you guys won't have seen this, but they drove all the way down the field on that last possession. Um, and went forward on fourth and goal, and they went backwards from the one. So now we're here. 35 seconds left. Pinned to our own end zone. Try our best to get out of here, and it's going to be a safety. We run a, we have a bad play call there by our coach on the pitch, and ended up as a safety. So, so we're going to go into halftime. 26 to 2, maybe. Right, so Rice went down the field, scored, and got the two point conversion after halftime. Well, we got a little bit of work to do. We're going to try to just continue to be smart with the football. Not make any any bad decisions with it. We don't want to we don't want to blow this game. Because if we lose here to Rice, I think that two losses in the first 3 weeks of the season, we're going to be in a not so favorable position for bowl game contention, especially when we start playing teams in our conference. Because once we start playing teams in our conference, we're going to be start playing some, some pretty good teams. So next week we have Central Michigan, which is another game that realistically is a winnable game for us. And then after that, I'm not actually sure. I do not remember. I had this schedule partially memorized, and that was such a beautiful throw. Uh, partially memorized uh, when I was doing when I first started this, but it's been a little, it's been a few a week and a half or so since I last played this, so I don't remember exactly where we go after Central Michigan. I do think that we start our conference play though, so we need to need to get some wins under our belt before that happens. So here we are, stuck again on a third and seven. Simply just not great. Uh, Play calling, um, well, not the play call. Actually, the play calling hasn't been the problem. Threw a terrible pass on first down, and then just the. Okay, Robinson, go up the sideline. You got it, you got it. Oh, okay. So, we got the first down. That's all that matters. First down gives us an opportunity to take some more clock off the. Take some more time off the clock. Um, Robinson and Coleman have been amazing. Jennings with the. Diving catch in the end zone was amazing. And I'm getting sacked. So we love that. We love that. That's uh, it's exactly what we want at this point in the game. But it's all right. Loss of six. Back. Yeah, they, they allow almost 400 yards a game. So 
realistically, this shouldn't be, um, be too difficult. And that's just not a good throw. It says precision pass. That was not a precision pass. I threw that six yards out of bounds. Third and 16. Had to get rid of it. Had a safety or corner coming off the edge there. I just had to get rid of it. That was not a great drive. We might get it come away with a field goal. I doubt it, though. No. All right. So we, we ended up not getting a field goal there on that drive and getting any points on the board. But our defense held strong after a decent punt, pinned them back deep. Um, so now here we are. Just going to keep. Keep getting the clock down. I do like hitting Jennings here. We're going to hit him pill. And we got hit while I was throwing. Bad throw. Kind a decent game. The fumble was not ideal. Nor was the safety. But. We're just going to keep fighting. Yeah, we keep running into that issue a couple of times this game. Um, very, very evident that um, that I'm a freshman. So my accuracy has been pretty, pretty bad today. We've had times. It's just not getting the ball out quick enough. It's just killing us. All right, so start the fourth quarter. We're gonna hand the ball off, which is a good call, I think, by the coach, by our coach Pat, Coach Fitzgerald, um, because we just need to waste some clock here. I, I think that at this point. If we can just waste some clock or go, okay. I was I kind of excited there. <laughs> now we're gonna break off a tutty there. Uh, it was a great run there though by David Wesley. Good upfield blocking, but yeah, just waste some clock here. We don't need to do anything fancy here. We just need to kind of just get the ball down the field. Really, we spend some time clock down. He's in the run there by Wesley. Gain of five. See the ball moving forward. He's got to be close to 100 yards on the on the day. I'm sure it will tell us eventually what his yardage has looked like so far today. He's looked good. Okay. Um, he was open. To be fair, Robinson was open. Just uh, excuse me. Uh, just the way that that ended up happening. They're going to audible out of that. I don't like the this corner over here or the linebacker there in the middle of the field. Showing blitz. Okay. Not a great second half here for our offense. Um, luckily, we did enough in the first half to... Give ourselves a lead so that when we did slow down in the second. Slow down. I don't even know what I'm talking about here. Beautiful play downfield. Robinson just went right past his defender. It's a great place to put the ball where the safety couldn't get to it. Great play. Here we are now. Minute 48 to go. Should just be able to run the clock down here. Rice did go back down the field and score a touchdown and get the two-point conversion. So they're putting up. I mean, they put up a fight. They get the first down. And call a timeout. So David Wesley looking like... Oh, we're going to get a penalty flag here for the sportsman like there on David Wesley for the excessive celebration. Wait, you tell him. At this point in the game, probably shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Hurts us, puts us back 15 yards. Another timeout called. We're going to have to do something here. Actually, was that the third timeout? No, they have one more timeout. So if we don't get uh, within field goal range here, yep, that was not a, I should have thrown the ball there. We're going to throw the ball here, I would imagine. Yeah. 
Oh, and they're saving their timeout. So we can get this down under a minute before we snap it. Um, hopefully we can get the ball close enough to kick a field goal. Just to, just to extend our lead, 35-18. Uh, go up by 17, get that three-score lead. Would be ideal here. We'll let the clock run all the way down. And then we'll take our take our shot, try to get to the first down marker. Do not want to make do not want to throw an interception. Get a turnover here. Hey, snap it. I'm gonna hit. I don't know who I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit Sherman here. Good play. That was that was wonderful there. It's a lot of great um, improvisation there by our by our wide receivers when I got out of the pocket. We can get another penalty for excessive celebration, which I don't understand what our team is doing here. It's doing too much, guys. You just we can't be doing that. Putting us in a horrible position here as a team. We're gonna have a have a talk with our coach. Gonna get head slapped around by our coach for this nonsense on the final drive of the game. Like I get it, right? Because we get our, our thing and we can just take our knee and walk out of here with a W, but not really the most ideal time to be doing that. None of no time is the ideal time to be getting fifteen yard in sportsman like penalties, but we are gonna walk out of here with a thirty two to eighteen win here in Houston playing the Rice Owls. Uh, it was a little bit closer than any of us probably would have assumed it would be after the way our offense kind of unloaded last week. We did have a good game, but uh, Rice just didn't have it offensively to keep up, even with the turnover early in the first half. I fumbled the ball on their side of the field. There you go. 32-18. We're going to improve to 2-1 and one on the year. Rice falls to 0-3. Coach shaking hands in the middle of the field. It was, uh, it was a good game. A little bit rough there. Start the second half. We didn't score. put the ball in the end zone, if I remember correct, until the fourth quarter. But we're going to move on now to week four. Let's keep, the, keep up the winning ways. That's all that we can do. All right, so it was, a, it was a good win, a good win there at Rice. Uh, we do follow up this next week at home versus Central Michigan, and then we'll just take a little look at the remainder of our schedule uh, as we enter conference play. Uh, we have a Big Ten game at Minnesota, uh, and then following week we play at we play at home against Purdue. We have our bye. What did that be? This will be week four, five, six. So a bye week seven. And then we go, we have a game at home against Michigan State University. And then we have a game at Indiana. And then at home against Penn State. And then to round out our season, we have a game at home against Iowa. A game at home against the Fighting Illini of Illinois. And then we finish the season with an away game at Wisconsin. We do have to remember to keep up with our studying and our um, tutoring sessions, uh, and those are things that I do off camera, so they're not the most exciting parts of the game. Uh, and so, we will go through our midterm exam, and then we will have our final, the Friday before the Heisman ceremony. Which is early in real life, because the final, my this was my finals week, was this third week of December. And that's been like everybody's. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, just gonna keep on going with what we got. Uh, before we leave, I will uh, will uh, go through and put our ratings up. We did get seven points from that last game uh, for having all of our things. We almost got our all, all full the full eight bonus points. We did not have a 54 yard touchdown pass or a 54 yard pass in general, which is something that we had needed to get that eighth bonus point. Um, so for some of the stuff that I'm just gonna go with, I'm just gonna do one to. To the speed, I'm gonna throw throw two on here to agility, one to acceleration, and then we'll go go throw accuracy, and then maybe we'll go stamina. 
Kick it up. We'll, we'll move up from an 80 to an 82 overall. Entering week four. But yeah, I just want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, we'll get the next episode out to you soon. And watch out for the start of the dynasty that I'm going to be. The series for the dynasty that I'm going to be starting here in the next couple of days. But yeah, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, thank you if you made it this far to the video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.